Hello, um, hello, Anne. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today, Anne? Um, I'm fine, thank you. Okay, very good. Okay, finish eating your dinner. Um, yes. What's your food for tonight? Um, um, pork. Wow, pork, and um. What is it? Pork and? Um, pork and some fish. Oh, really? Pork and some fish. Okay, so tonight, Anne, we are having an activity. So let's begin right now. Are you ready? Um, I am ready. Okay, good. Let's start. Okay, so the first activity that we will have is listening activity, okay? Okay. Okay, so look at the picture, and This is part number one. Look at the pictures. Listen and draw a line. There's one example. Okay, so Anne, now I am going to play an audio file. And then you have to put a line on the name and the picture, okay? Okay. Okay, wait. Um... Uh, since you do not still know how to use annotate, I will first play the audio file, then after it, I will help you draw your answer, okay? Okay. Okay, let's begin. Part 1. Listen and look. There is one example. Look at this photograph. I took it yesterday. It's good, isn't it? It is, yes. It's excellent. But I don't know all the people in it. Oh, don't you? Well, you know Sarah. Look, there she is on the beach. She's making a castle. Is she the girl who's putting the green flag on the top? Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. So who's the other girl with her? The one who's helping her to make the castle. Yes, that one. It's my best friend, Emma. And look, she's wearing her favourite dinosaur t-shirt. She always wears it on the beach. The weather was nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was lovely. But my friend Harry doesn't like the sun very much, so he went into that cave. Is that him? There, near the cave? The boy in the orange shorts? That's right. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. He's the boy who's inside the cave. It wasn't so hot in there. Those two boys had a good time that day, didn't they? Oh, those two? Yes. They had a kind of competition, a race on the beach. So who won the race? Michael did, the boy in the striped shorts. He's good at all kinds of sports. Do you like the two paintings? Well, the picture of the sky is lovely, but the other one, the one of the octopus, is horrible. Oh, I like it. It's interesting. Who's the person painting it? I'm not sure. Is his name Fred? No, I'm sorry. It's his brother, William. They've both got the same curly hair. Helen's brother has just gone to college. Look, she's writing a letter to him. Are you sure? I can't see her. There, look. She's sitting on the blanket with her friend. Oh, I see. She's the girl in the yellow T-shirt with black spots. Now listen to part one again. Okay, so are you able, able uh, to, no. to remember the names? Uh, no. 
Okay, want to listen one more time? Um, yes. Okay. So, who's the other girl with her? The one who's helping her to make the castle. Yes, that one. It's my best friend, Emma. And look, she's wearing her favourite dinosaur t-shirt. She always wears it on the beach. The weather was nice, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It was lovely. But my friend Harry doesn't like the sun very much, so he went into that cave. Is that him? There, near the cave? The boy in the orange shorts? That's right. No, no, sorry, I'm wrong. He's the boy who's inside the cave. It wasn't so hot in there. Those two boys had a good time that day, didn't they? Oh, those two? Yes. They had a kind of competition, a race on the beach. So who won the race? Michael did. The boy in the striped shorts. He's good at all kinds of sports. Do you like the two paintings? Well, the picture of the sky is lovely, but the other one, the one of the octopus, is horrible. Oh, I like it. It's interesting. Who's the person painting it? I'm not sure. Is his name Fred? No, I'm sorry. It's his brother, William. They've both got the same curly hair. Helen's brother has just gone to college. Look, she's writing a letter to him. Are you sure? I can't see her. There, look. She's sitting on the blanket with her friend. Oh, I see. She's the girl in the yellow T-shirt with black spots. That is the end of part one. OK, now, Al, let's answer. OK. OK, now I will um, let you control the screen, OK? Don't move anything first. OK. OK. okay. Don't move anything. Okay, don't move, don't move, because I will fix it first. Okay, so here, and Okay, now, can you draw a line on your answer? Okay. Um, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, uh, ready? Uh, um, wait me a minute. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Okay, now uh, don't don't click anything. Okay. Okay. Okay, now Anne, can you draw your answers? Um, okay. All right. Um, wait. Okay. Hmm. Okay, tell me if you're done. Um...
Finish? Okay. Um, finish. Okay, wait a minute. Don't move anything. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Something's wrong. Okay. So now let's see if you got the correct answers. Okay. M and the girl with the dinosaur on her t-shirt. Okay, that's correct. Harry and the boy sitting inside the cave. Correct also. Michael and the boy winning the race in striped shorts. Next is William and the boy painting a picture of an octopus. Okay, and then the last one is Helen and the girl on the blanket writing a letter. Okay, so good job, Anne, because you were able to um, remember the names of the people. Okay, five points for you. So now, Anne, let's go to part number two. This has five points. Okay, so this one. Listen and write. There is one example, okay? Okay. All right. So now I will play the audio file. And then you have to take note of the details that you will hear, okay? Okay. Let's begin, Anne. Part two. Listen and look. There is one example. Oh, hello. I work for a children's magazine. And I'm writing something about children and the different times of the year. Would you like to answer some questions for me? Well, yes, if I can. Thank you. Okay, first, can you give me your name, please? Yes, of course. It's Ben, Ben Perry, and that's P-E-R-R-Y. Can you see the answer? Now you listen and write. Right. Thank you, Ben. Now, when's your birthday? I mean, which month? My birthday? Why? It's interesting. People usually like their birthday month. Do they? Well, I don't like mine very much. It's November. Oh, right. Let me write that here. Now, perhaps you can tell me the month you like best. Which is your favourite month? Hmm, I prefer May, I think. Yes, it's lovely then. It's warm and sunny, and we often go swimming. OK, fine. Now, which month is the worst? What about January? Well, I don't like it very much. But the month I hate is February. It's always cold, and it rains a lot, so we can't play outside very often. But in some countries, it's warm and sunny then, you know. Yes, I know. But not here. Now, do you usually have a holiday in the summer, Ben? No, all my friends do. But my dad has to work then, so we have our holiday later in the autumn. Oh, I see. And where do you go? We always go to the same place. It's called Cumbline. Oh. Can you spell that for me, please? Yes, it's C-U-M-B-L-I-N-E. It's a lovely place with lakes and a forest. Well, thank you, Ben. That's all. Okay, one more time, Anne. Now listen to part two again. Right. Thank you, Ben. Now, when's your birthday? I mean, which month? My birthday? Why? It's interesting. People usually like their birthday month. Do they? Well, I don't like mine very much. It's November. Oh, right. Let me write that here. Now, perhaps you can tell me the month you like best. Which is your favourite month? Hmm, I prefer May, I think. Yes, it's lovely then. It's warm and sunny, and we often go swimming. OK, fine. Now, which month is the worst? What about January? Well, I don't like it very much. But the month I hate is February. 
It's always cold, and it rains a lot, so we can't play outside very often. But in some countries, it's warm and sunny. Then you know. Yes, I know, but not here. Now, do you usually have a holiday in the summer, Ben? No, all my friends do, but my dad has to work then, so we have our holiday later in the autumn. Oh, I see. And where do you go? We always go to the same place. It's called Cumbline. Oh, can you spell that for me, please? Yes, it's C U M B L I N E. It's a lovely place with lakes and a forest. Well, thank you, Ben. That's all. Okay, so now let's answer. The question. That is the end of part two. So this is about children's magazine. Name is Ben Perry. Okay, now Anne, what is the birthday month? Um, November. November. Okay, how about the favorite month? Um, May. May. How about the worst month? Um, February. February. Holiday time. Um. Um. Near some. Near autumn. Near autumn. And then holiday place. Um. Um. Come line. Again. Um. Yeah. I don't know what is the holiday. Place. I were not able to hear it clearly. Okay, so now let's check your answers. So the birthday month is November. Favorite month is May. Worst month is February. Holiday time is autumn, and holiday place is Combline. Okay, but you were able to tell the place, but. Um, you weren't able to spell it right, okay? okay? But anyway, 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 I will give this point to you. I will give it to you because you were able to tell me your answer in number five, okay? So now, and let's proceed to part number three. This has five marks. Listen and write a letter in each box. There's one example. Robert and his friends are learning to be good photographers. Which photo did each person take? Okay, now Anne, I will play an audio file and then um, you have to tell me later on the letter of your answer, okay? Okay. Part 3. Listen and look. There is one example. Robert and some of his friends are learning to be good photographers. Which photo did each person take? Would you like to look at these photos? My friends and I took them. We all go to the same evening class. Oh, yes, please. Wow, I like that one. Yes, the picture of the sea in a storm is excellent, isn't it? Peter took it. He's an actor, but he loves sailing, too. He knows a lot about different kinds of weather. Yes, I love that one too. Can you see the letter A? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. There's a businessman in my class too. I don't know his name, but he takes some very strange photos. This is one of his. Look. Oh, yes. It is, um, different. Yes. It's just a plate of pizza and some salad. It's not very interesting, is it? No. But I still like it. The best photographer in the class is Kim. She's a tennis player now, but she wants to work for a newspaper in the future. She took this picture of some camels by a pyramid. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. When did she take it? When she was on holiday. 
This photo of the butterflies on flowers is Jane's. Do you like it? Hmm. I think I do. She studied medicine at university, and she's a doctor now. Her pictures are always about the environment. She took this one in her garden last year. And what about this one? Oh, that's good too. I like it a lot. Katie's a policewoman, and she took this picture when she was working at the airport one day. You can see the pilot too. Look, he's walking to the plane. Oh yes. Is this the last one? Yes, it's Bill's. He's a car mechanic. His favourite hobby is space. You know, studying the moon and stars. Well, you can guess that this is his picture, can't you? Now listen to part three again. Okay, so now let's answer Anne. So, okay, now but as. I, but I am not able to to answer. Ah, okay. You want to listen one more time? Um, yep. Okay. There's a businessman in my class too. I don't know his name, but he takes some very strange photos. This is one of his. Look. Oh yes, it is um, different. Yes, it's just a plate of pizza and some salad. It's not very interesting, is it? No, but I still like it. The best photographer in the class is Kim. She's a tennis player now, but she wants to work for a newspaper in the future. She took this picture of some camels by a pyramid. It's lovely, isn't it? Yes. When did she take it? When she was on holiday. This photo of the butterflies on flowers is Jane's. Do you like it? Hmm. I think I do. She studied medicine at university, and she's a doctor now. Her pictures are always about the environment. She took this one in her garden last year. And what about this one? Oh, that's good too. I like it a lot. Katie's a policewoman, and she took this picture when she was working at the airport one day. You can see the pilot too. Look, he's walking to the plane. Oh yes. Is this the last one? Yes, it's Bill's. He's a car mechanic. His favourite hobby is space. You know, studying the moon and stars. Well. You can guess that this is his picture, can't you? That is the end of part three. Okay, so let's answer now, Anne. Um, okay. Okay, so there's an example. Storm is letter A. Okay, how about space? Um. Um. Um, uh, might be letter C. Okay, wait a minute. Let's write your answers. So your answer in space is letter... Um, C. Okay, letter C. How about butterflies? Um, um, letter F. How about camels? Um, um, letter D. Letter? D. D as in dog? Um, 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 it is, um, D. D as in dog? Okay, wait. Yep. How about airport? Um, letter H. And then pizza is? Um, letter um, E. Okay, so now let's check if you got the correct answers. So space is letter C. Butterflies is letter F. Um, camels is letter D, airport, letter H, and pizza is letter E. Okay, that's great. 
Okay, five points again for you, Anne. Okay, now let's proceed to part number four. This has five points. Listen and tick the box. There's one example, okay? So as you can see, uh, there are pictures and letters. So you have to tell me the letter of your answer, okay, Anne? Okay, okay let's start it. Part four. Listen and look. There is one example. How did David go to town? Did you go shopping in town yesterday, David? Yes, we did. But we couldn't take the car. Oh, no. You've got a problem with it, haven't you? So, did you go by bus? No. We took a taxi. It was much quicker. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. Which bowl did David buy? It's my grandmother's birthday next week. She's going to be 60. Have you found a nice present for her? Yes, I have. I bought her a fruit bowl. Lovely. Is it made of glass? No. I looked for a silver one, but they were too expensive, so I got this one. Look. It's made of wood. Oh, it's very nice. She'll love that. 2. Which card will David choose? And I bought some cards. Which one shall I send to Grandmother for her birthday, Aunt Sue? The one with the snowman. Hmm. I'm not sure. Not for a birthday. I like these two cards with rivers on them. One's got a bridge on it, but I prefer the other one, the one with the boats. Yes, I agree with you. Okay. So, number one, which bowl did David buy? Um, letter B. Letter B, correct. How about number two? Which card did David choose? Um, um, letter, um, A. Okay, very good. That's letter A. So now let's continue number three, four, and five. Three. Where did David lose his umbrella? What's the matter, David? Is something wrong? Yes, I've lost my umbrella. I took it with me yesterday when we went shopping. Perhaps it's in the restaurant. You had lunch there with your mum, didn't you? No, it's not there, I'm sure. But we went to the station to buy some tickets. Let's telephone and ask. Oh, no. Now I remember. It's in the bookshop. I put it down when I was looking at a book, and then I went outside without it. 4. Which are David's favourite biscuits? Did you buy anything else? Yes, a box of my favourite biscuits. Can you remember my favourite ones? Hmm, I forget. Have they got jam in them? Well, I like them too. But no, these chocolate ones are my favourites. Not coconut ones? Oh, no, they're horrible. 5. What time are they going to have dinner? Are you going to stay and have dinner with us, Aunt Sue? Yes, I am. But I must leave before 8 o'clock. OK. Would you like to eat at half past six, then? Oh, that's too early for all of you, isn't it? Perhaps seven o'clock is better. Yes, it is. We can watch the new animal programme on TV before dinner. OK, so number three. Where did David lose his umbrella? Um, letter C. Yes, letter C. Which are David's favorite biscuits? 
Um, letter B. Okay, number five. What time are they going to have dinner? Um, letter B. Okay, very good, Anne. That's great because you were able to get the perfect score again. Good job. Okay, so for the last activity, this one is part number five. Listen in color. There's one example. Part 5. Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. Would you like to help me finish this picture of my kitchen? Yes, I would, please. Okay. Well, first, can you see the boy's cup? Yes, it's next to his plate. That's right. Please color it red. Can you see the red cup next to the plate? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw and write. One. So now what shall I color next? Hmm, let me think. Can you find the girl's plate? Oh yes, there it is. Now, what color shall I use for that? Hmm, what about blue? Right. That's a nice colour. Do you like it? Yes, very much. Two. And now, can you see the window? Yes, of course. Well, outside the window, you can see three hills. Oh, yes. Can I colour the smallest one, please? Yes. Perhaps you can colour it purple? That's a strange colour. Well, sometimes things look that colour when it's foggy. Three. Can I draw something now? Of course. Can you see the bottle on the table? Yes, it's empty. I'd like to put a flower in it. Okay. You can draw one and color it yellow. Right. I'll do that. There. That looks much nicer now. Okay, so now Anne, let's answer. Four. Would you like? Okay, so here, as you can see, there are instructions here. Okay? okay. Now I will give the control to you, so that you can color the pictures. Okay, but please don't click anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, I will give the control to you now. Oh, don't click anything. Don't click, 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 click. Okay, so the first one is color blue, okay? Can you read what's number one? Um, number one, color the girl's plate blue. Okay, now, so here's the color blue. Okay, you can color the plate blue now.
I'm okay. Okay, next one, number two, can you read it? Um, color the smallest hill, purple. Okay, so here's the purple. Um, okay. Okay, next one, number three. Can you read it? Um, draw a flower in the bottle on the table in color it yellow. Okay, so here's yellow. Um, okay. Okay, very good. So next one, number four. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, number four, can you read it then? Um, write the word like on this one picture. Okay, so here is the color black. Can you write the word lake? Um, okay. Finish? Um, finish. Okay, so the last one is, can you read it? Um, color the telephone on the shelf green. Okay, so here's color green. Okay. Okay, so now let's check your answers. Okay. So here the plate is blue, correct? The smallest tail is purple. Then there's a yellow flower on the table. The word lake is on this one. And last one, the telephone must be color green. Okay, very good. And perfect score again for the last part. Okay, so just in time, and we are finished for tonight's activity, okay? Okay. All right, so good night, and see you again on Tuesday. Okay. All right, good night. Good night.